Welcome to The Know, I'm Brian. And I'm Brian's Echo Fighter, Ben. There he is. So, big news today, Ben. Um, it has been, this is not an official announcement, but the Wall Street Journal reported that Nintendo is going to release a new Switch, a new version of the Switch next year. And let's talk about that a little bit. I, I think there's a lot to, you know, kind of unpack there. Um, in terms of like details on what it might look like, we don't have a lot yet, but according to this story, the reason they're going to do this is to maintain sales momentum of the console. They're looking to do it uh, in the latter half possibly of next year, but maybe as soon as the summer. Okay, that all makes sense. Are there, are there numbers they're trying to hit? Like a, a well, 20 million, I think it might have been. Yeah, so they saw. sold close to 20 million between the introduction last year and June 30th of this year, they're trying, their goal is to sell another 20 million uh, through March of next year. So to, uh, so basically 40 million total okay. through March. I, I think there is um, some concern and some analysts have been concerned if they're be, gonna be able to meet that hardware goal. But I sure. think this might be a sign from Nintendo that while last year it got off to a huge start, we had big, uh, big games, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, and then, uh, you know, updates of uh, Mario Kart 8, uh, Splatoon, Splatoon 2, 2, that was a new game. Yep. Um, but this year, maybe not as strong as a lineup. It's been at a least, little lackluster, At least feels. so far. Now, right. we've got Smash coming in December. we got Mario Party coming out tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. So excited. Yeah, or today, whenever this gets posted. And then Pokemon. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Um, but none of us seem, um, like Smash I think will sell consoles. Yeah. Uh, maybe Pokemon Let's Go will, but I don't know of those two what are going to be like the hard hitters like we had last year. Right. I, I, there might be a concern that everyone who wants a Switch has bought one at this point. Yeah. You know, except for I think maybe Smash Plays. I think that could entice some people to jump in. Yeah. I mean, if anything, next year we have a few things coming down the line. We have uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Right. We have uh, Animal Crossing. I think right. that'll be a big Switch seller. Yeah. Um, but other than that, like, I don't know, all the people that have a Switch or, like, want a Switch have a Switch. Yeah. So, um, way to steal my line. Oh, okay. I'm, well. just <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, so far, I, I think, what has been the biggest game so far in 2018 for the Switch? Octopath Traveler? Uh, yeah. I, I you know, know there's been a lot of, like, re-releases, remasters. Yeah. Some indies. A lot of indies. Into yeah. the Breach was a really good one. Right. Um, Just Shapes and Beats was a great indie game. Right. Um, but I don't think any of those are Switch sellers. And we saw, like, Dark Souls Remastered come out. We saw right. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, yeah. or Fighters, or however you pronounce that right. game. Uh, but Fighters. But nothing, like huge yeah to me it seems like the indies have been nice and as a switch owner i've been happy to have them oh absolutely it's not something i would have gone out and bought a switch for though mm -hmm. because as we know with nintendo consoles and this has been true for a few generations now they are first party machines absolutely but we are seeing you know developers come in with ports uh with doom wolfenstein 2 uh, Doom Eternal is going to launch on the Switch, same time as PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So it's it's starting to get treated as a major console. I, I think that Nintendo, though, um, it's, it'll be interesting to see what they put in this new Switch. Like, right. What, What's going to hook me to want to buy either right. a new Switch or a second Switch entirely? Is there something you would like to see in this new, in a new sort of re <sighs> remodeled Switch? The number one thing that I want, even more than, I, I think some reports have mentioned possibly a uh, like a new screen. Right, a uh, better screen. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be nice. I, I want Bluetooth. I want to be able to use yep. a pair of Bluetooth headphones yep. and like attach some dongle. Like right. most phones nowadays have that issue where you have to have a dongle, you put into USB-C, right. and then like you have to hook your headphones into. Right. Just give me a nice pair of Bluetooth yeah. uh, headphones that I can attach to this thing. Yeah, I bought a car and uh, and it has Bluetooth and it is the shit. It's, it's the so nicest nice. feature. Yeah, I can just go in and push, you know, start up Spotify and like I'm off and going. Especially if this thing is supposed to be a portable console. Like it needs it, Bluetooth. It needs Bluetooth. Yeah, uh, I I agree with that. A better battery, I think, would be nicer. I think a better battery. A lot of people, I think, are speculating this machine is going to be something, like, there's going to be some big drastic change. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Nintendo can do that, right? Like, if they add some huge change to the Switch uh, that developers are going to have to code around or create, like, some things I've seen thrown out there are possibly, like, a vertical mode right. that you can then, like, put the, right. the Switches in. Okay, cool. Well, then you're going to alienate some of your audience if yeah. you want to play, like, Ikaruga 
you know, top down. Right. Which is, it looks really cool, sounds really cool. Maybe that's like the furthest jump I could see this thing taking. Yeah, it, it, as far as hardware, uh, of course they have the issue with the hardware exploit that's led to some jailbreaking. Um, I don't think that's like widespread yet, mm -hmm. but this might be an effort to, to fix that. I, I would be surprised if they release a more powerful Switch this soon. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll do that in the future. And Nintendo has a long history. I mean, they all do. They, they release, you know, a slim version of a console. Uh, and Nintendo, has, I mean, my God, there have been so many DSs and 3DSs. Oh, yeah. Uh, and 2DSs, so uh, this is a, a pretty normal thing, but it, it is interesting to see if this is going to maintain their sales momentum, yeah. what, what is the feature gonna be in this new Switch that isn't in the current one? I think it's gonna be small quality, quality of life changes yeah. that will, maybe someone that already has a Switch will possibly buy a second one or trade their Switch in to upgrade it, mm -hmm. more or less, but it's not gonna be anything of a huge jump. Maybe, uh, I know Nintendo has been tracking their statistics for right. their Switch, so like who plays in docked mode, who plays yeah. in handheld mode. Yeah. And I, the last stats I saw on that were I think 20% of people play it in just big screen, screen mode. 30% of people play it in just handheld mode, and then you have 50% of people that swap back and forth. Who are those 20 people just playing in in big screen mode. People that don't leave the house and they that, always have an option to have a TV no, in front of them. Do any of you guys play in just big screen mode? That seems I amazing. I wouldn't want to know that. That's yeah, really weird. Yeah, really, because then it's just like a, you know, a regular console, like kind of an underpowered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could get something like, a, you know, a, an Xbox that has a little bit more power to it. Yeah. Maybe that's but something... you don't get the Nintendo games, though. You, yeah. don't, get, you don't get Mario, you maybe, don't get Zelda. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's a, uh, maybe they'll have something that, that's maybe a little bit beefier to help with, like, frame rate problems, but not necessarily, like, you can do it, you know, like, 4K versus 1080, right? It'll I, just be, like, you yeah. can run smoother right. games. I, I definitely play more in handheld. I mean, predominantly. Absolutely. I, I think the ex to me, that's what it's about. It's so I, easy. It's to a just great like handheld. Sit and travel, or like if I bring it to work and yep. I'm over lunch and I say, "Hey, you guys want to do like Fortnite or Super Mario Party?" Right. Or, or just the boss quick. isn't watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <He's just laughs> play at work. Um, yeah. It, it to me, I, I would think. I, I don't know if they're going to do it this time, but I think at some point. I'm fine with them just re releasing progressively more powerful switches. Yeah, you yeah. know, and and sort of beefing up um, the hardware because I, to me, that's the switch's biggest weakness. Um, I, there's also been talk of like maybe a mini switch. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna. Yeah, what would you do with that though? Like, what would be the yeah. the appeal to that other than a more portable console, which the switch is kind of like the most portable console of that realm of like graphics right. and everything right it's not pocket sized but well i mean you can fit it in your pocket i put it in, I, some I gym fit it in my pocket i've been worried about twisting the right way where it's i'm gonna just hear a crack and go yeah. uh oh but it's not but, like a long-term solution yeah you, you know there's like there's a carrying case for it you know? <laughs> exactly. it's, the, it's the it's you know uh, a purse for gamers but <laughs> yeah um i i do yeah i i don't know what you know yeah, what is that feature that they think they're gonna, you know, is gonna, okay, this is gonna get people to jump on board. You yeah, know I, think, I, mean? I think it'll just be nice quality of life changes with maybe like a better kickstand, like on the back. I know oh, that, that kickstand. Because the one right yeah. now, it's so easy for that thing to topple over or yeah. even just pop out entirely. Right. If you got something that's more like a T shape that could rest more easily, right. maybe that, but. Right. There's also been, you know, speculation, and this is this has been since the Switch uh, launched, that it was pushed out a little bit early by Nintendo because the Wii U was such a disaster in mm -hmm. terms of sales, and so they were just trying to push in the next, you know, the next big thing, that uh, it was almost like a beta version of a console, and that. You know, so maybe now we're getting the switch that they've they've gotten a, a they've chance to learn from. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that they've been out in the wild. Yeah, the only thing I could see that would possibly be a like something that's backwards compatible, right? Something that maybe better like Joy Cons, maybe bigger ones or something yeah. that could fit a little bit easier. Because yeah. then you have the appeal of people that have seen a switch and said, eh, right. I mean, it's not really for me. It look, doesn't look comfortable for some reason. Right. But then they see this and go, Oh yeah, cool. I'll pick up a switch now. And then gamers that bought the first iteration could still be like, Oh, I can pick these Joy-Cons up, and yeah. I don't feel like I'm getting left behind. Well, and that'll be the big challenge for them, because whatever they release, you cannot leave the original Switch owners behind. Yeah, you know, like There's too many of them. There can't be a huge jump in whatever right. this next iteration is. Right, gonna they be. can't like divide that. And they won't. They won't do that. But, but yeah, it, whatever this new one does that the old one does, I think there's sort of a risk of maybe you alienate the, the old Switch owners, like, fuck, I wish I had that. But like... 
I'm not going to buy a new switch. I'm not either. Probably. I mean, like, unless it's, but now I can't. I can't really imagine. I can't like, justify a new buying a new switch. No, no. And, unless this next switch is like, can, is the only switch that can play Animal Crossing, which there would be a huge backlash if that was the case. They would. Yes, that the, you could hear the backlash from Japan. I feel like <laughs> absolutely. It, 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 yeah, Maybe though, there's something that we're not thinking of. Like I didn't see Nintendo Labo coming, and that's a thing now, and yeah. it's pretty popular. Cardboard so. switch. Cardboard switch. You heard it here ready. first. <laughs> news, breaking news. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Anything else? Do we hit it all? Or, I think that's or, it. I, yeah. I'm I'm not looking for to throw down another 300 on a new switch, uh, but I look forward to any changes they might have. Yeah, me too. And and I will say I've really really enjoyed the switch. I think it's sort of. Um, been been a game changer in terms of like how I play video games. I mean, just the, the portability of it, um, it probably gets more use from me than any of my others. And I, I've got all three, but I probably play on the Switch the most. I'm definitely making more progress in Octopath Traveler on the Switch than right. I would if I had it for the Xbox. Yeah, like Octopath Traveler s sold well, but we were saying earlier, I think that, or you brought this up, I think that had a lot to do with it being on the Switch. Absolutely. It would not have sold as well, I think, on the Xbox One. Maybe if it released now on the Xbox One, then people had the word of mouth from the Switch. That's right. It could be picked up. I, I think if it had launched on the PS4, it would have been completely overshadowed. By everything else, I, I think. I mean, I think it would have had, it would have found fans. It would have found those niche market of gamers that play JRPGs. Absolutely, like I still would have bought it. But someone that's not a JRPG or wouldn't go out of their way to pick it up. Yeah, and I think that's maybe, where the, sh the switch shines. Yeah. And maybe there were like switch owners that are like, we're looking for something new to play. And maybe gave it a chance. Sure. And I think indie indie uh, titles have said, oh, we sell a shitload on the they switch. Sell I mean, they've been well. On the they've switch. been rushing, and I think that happens anytime there's a new platform with a big install base, but not a lot to play. Yeah. Uh, so it, it will be interesting to see what they do. What do you guys think in terms of like, what would you like to see on a new Switch? If you don't own a Switch, is there something that would be in this new Switch that could convince you to jump on? That's, uh, that's kind of something I'm interested in. Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.